today is Wednesday and we are leaving our home to go to the airport right now. This will kick off my Degrassi Palooza attempt at vlogging whatever I can vlog. So here we go. Yay! Toronto! Or is it Toronto? I don't know. Okay, so I just got back last night at 1 a.m. from Toronto. Uh, I was in Toronto for several days. We arrived Thursday, June 13th, and we left Monday, June 17th. By we, I mean me and my husband, Zach. So, um, I don't quite know the style I'm gonna put all this together in, but what I'm gonna do today is just kind of talk through the things that weren't captured in the vlog or explained in the vlog. So I don't know if I'm gonna do vlog and then explanation or if I'm gonna interlace the two or what, but let's go ahead and just get started. So Wednesday the 12th, I left work a little early and we flew to Atlanta. The plan was then to fly to Toronto immediately after connecting flight. Well, our flight to Atlanta got so delayed that we missed the connection and we had to spend the night in Atlanta. Of course, Delta Airlines put us up, gave us an overnight toiletries bag and all of that that was really sweet. Our first flight was delayed. We missed our second flight. We have to stay in Atlanta tonight. It was just a little hiccup. You know, at first I was like, is this a bad sign? Like, is this like the first in a chain of bad luck that we're gonna have on this trip? I can, I can thankfully say that that is not what happened, but you know, we only got about three or four hours of sleep before we had to get up and go back to the airport to get that flight to Toronto. So that flight went well. Going through customs was easy. Um, the kiosks were out of order, so we actually had to fill out a form, and it was just asking questions like, are you gonna go to a farm? Are you carrying like $10,000 worth of um, commercial products? And you know, it was, it was really straightforward, um, really easy to go through. <laughs> And then our hotel, we stayed at the Westin, which is where the convention was being held. Our hotel picked us up and shuttled us to our room, and I was so excited to get to that room. It was an upgrade from where we stayed in Atlanta. This hotel has 15 floors. That's crazy. All right, we finally made it to the hotel. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> you just do this. Yes. This is that fancy. <gasps> what? <laughs> wow. Ooh. Welcome home. Look at this. Oh, wow. This looks just like it looks outside of Wheels' window. I want to go to Port Hope. Awesome. Wow. Look at that. It's <laughs> 21 degrees in here. <laughs> We didn't really want to waste any time, so what we decided to do was shower up and everything, and then, you know, it was early in the morning at this point, so, and then we got an Uber to, to the Degrassi Junior High area. We actually got him to take us right to 68 Daisy Avenue and drop us off. It was a little rainy, but I didn't care. Um, also, it was like 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which I love because in Alabama, where I live, it was probably about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So 
So I didn't mind that it was raining on me. Like whatever, I'm in, I'm in freaking Toronto. <laughs> okay, so we're here. This is it. This is Degrassi Junior High. Um, and then like, I think this is the same tree that Stephanie K has leaned against. And then this is where everyone would, you know, play catch and get ready for class to start. And as you can see, this is where a bunch of condos are being built around it, but at least they've saved the face of the building. So, <laughs> here I am. Just trying to take in what it's like to be on Degrassi Street, <laughs> even though this is Daisy Avenue. Like, it feels nice. It's quiet here. The birds are singing. It's great. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does it feel weird to you, babe? It does not. I mean, like, you've stared at this on TV for so long. And now you're looking at it. <laughs> Feels like I thought I would feel. <laughs> I don't really know how I thought I would feel. I guess I thought I would cry, but I didn't. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Seeing Degrassi Junior High was so surreal. It, I actually had a lot of feelings. Um... For one, I felt pretty sad that they utilized every inch of that space, except for that main building. They were utilizing every inch of that space to build fancy condos, really tall, fancy condos. So obviously it doesn't look completely the same as it did on the show, but the front of the building was still the same. They had a, a fancy fence put up around the front lawn. So we didn't actually go to the steps because there were kids in the school that we could actually see, like through the front door. So we didn't want to be too creepy. We did loiter outside taking a bunch of pictures for a long time. And um, what else? Okay, um, I felt like the front area was smaller than it looked on TV. I don't know why, but it did. And. Honestly, the only reason that we just that we finally walked away is because I Don't want to be too creepy because also the children were being brought outside and stuff like to do something over to the side And I was like, I just don't want to be a creeper But the school it, it looked exactly the same It looked a little bit run down, but it was just charming, you know, like the window sills were kind of crumbling and stuff like that, but it was okay so what we then decided to do was walk the block to see, to see the condo activity and see um, if there were any little glimpses of Degrassi Junior High that we could still see. Which we could. We could see the back of the building between some condos. and We also just walked around to look at the neighborhood and just kind of get a feel for it. It was a residential kind of area. so. It was really peaceful. So we walked around the block and this is the back end of the Jurassic Junior High campus where they are building all the condos now. Just looking around wondering what I would have been able to recognize if there wasn't all this here. It's been really fun walking around and looking at the houses and just like taking in the atmosphere of what Toronto is like, at least in this like residential area, you know. We decided we would live here. Can you imagine living across the street from Degrassi Junior High and just getting to look at that every morning? So lucky. And the big black squirrels were out. <laughs> what is this? How come nobody told me about these? It's huge. It's like the size of a dog. What is it even eating? It's eating paper. I'm so confused. These things are everywhere and the birds are big here too. That, that's amazing. I've never seen anything like that. That was also my first, sorry if you can see the cat hair flying around. That was also my first Uber ride ever. And after that, we walked several, several blocks all the way to Lake Ontario's edge and it was so pretty. I kind of liked that it was gray and rainy and cold. It just like, it was this different kind of coastal feeling that I've never felt before. So 
that was really cool and the the amount of solitude and like free space that we had even in the midst of this city of three million people was so cool so we walked there was like paths and stuff and we walked along the uh, the lake for a long time confirmed it is Lake Ontario and it, it is a big oh my gosh it is big it looks like the ocean I'm pretty sure like this is where Spike and Snake got married or had their wedding reception was along the lake and when like Paige and Hazel and Jimmy and Spinner and Ellie go to the beach I think they come to the beach of this lake the um the seals or would they be lake gulls the gulls were huge along with those weird squirrels and after that we started to walk around the like commercial areas looking for some stores because we were gonna need some food and we walked a lot okay we walked a lot we passed like schools and restaurants and all kinds of businesses and just saw all kinds of people and and one thing that was really really great about Toronto is just the diversity it, it was amazing it's amazing it's like nothing we have here and just this we live in a rural area so just this contrast between not only America and Canada but, t but between rural and urban was just completely captivating to me the whole entire time I was just like oh my god look at this phone booth oh my god look at this the corner store like just thing things that we don't have and just different kinds of lifestyles and different kinds of people it was it's so so thrilling for me so anyway we started walking around like trying to find a grocery store um and like the thing is that although Canada does have the beer store they don't have the grocery store so we went into several corner convenience stores um, that usually will have like one or two of whatever item you're looking for. So, you know, like we've, we managed to find some bread at one and then like some cheese at another one and we were kind of running around and also couldn't find any freaking alcohol. Like, where's the alcohol? So then you Google it and it's like, oh, Canada doesn't sell alcohol in regular stores. They only sell it in an alcohol store. Which is weird. I heard that they're doing away with that though, so congratulations. So after a lot of a lot of walking and exploration, um, we found out there's an alcohol store called LCBO. So we walked really far to LCBO about the time that it started storming. Still though, I was not mad. That is just that is just how happy I was to be <laughs> in Toronto. Uh, and I had an umbrella. Thanks to Zach, it was his idea. So, in Canada, you can't just go to the grocery store and buy beer or wine. You have to go to a special store for it. So here we are going to the LCBO. And we're almost there. And then we found out that right next to LCBO is a, a grocery store. But it's named No Frills. Who names a grocery store No Frills? What, what does that even mean? So then we went to like the sixth grocery-ish grocery or convenience store of the day. And then we went to LCBO. Um, also backtrack a little bit. I saw this store called Dollarama. And I was like, that's hilarious. Let's go in Dollarama because I was assuming it was like a Dollar Tree and it was, um, but better. Also backtrack a little bit more. Inside of these grocery stores and these convenience stores are familiar things but a lot of unfamiliar things it's stuff that I um, have been discussing on my Instagram but you know like ketchup chips like raisin crush uh, like mac and cheese is called craft dinner and then lots of candy that um, we don't have here and then even the Kit Kats have a, like we have Kit Kats but I think our packaging looks different than every other country who has Kit Kats. I, I loved that at like within the city you have trash cans and recycling cans. 
that's the Holly Springs tears my eyes. We do not have recycling cans here. Everyone we interacted with was nice. The whole entire trip, we didn't meet anyone who was rude or mean. What? And also, there's something so interesting about Toronto. I did not ever feel anxious. I did not ever feel uncomfortable or overwhelmed, um, even in like large crowds or noisy places. Like, it's so weird because here where I live, I pretty much can't even stand going to Walmart because I just don't like all the, the people around me and I don't, I don't know, it's so weird. And it, uh, we were saying it, there's probably something to that. It's probably um, the fact that when you do go out here, People are looking at you, they want to know who you are, they want to know why you're wearing that, they, they just want to know your business. And in the city, like, nobody's looking at you, <laughs> nobody cares, you do your thing, they're doing their thing. And there, there's a really cool flow about that, instead of everyone's like looking at each other, instead everyone's just like, minding their own business. <sighs> Alright, and then... We Ubered back home, and that was the end of Thursday, day one. Thursday night, we turned on the TV and we watched the whole uh, game, the sixth NBA Raptors game, sports. Anyway, so we saw the Raptors win on TV while we were in Toronto, the home of the Raptors. And that was awesome. That was really cool. And then I spent a long time watching everybody's snaps about it. Like all the Degrassi um, casts that I follow on Instagram and stuff, I just watched everybody's snaps. It, it it was really cool. It was cool to feel like we were a part of that, just simply for being in Toronto at the time. I didn't sleep too good the first night, but that's okay. Woke up on Friday, and being in the airport hotel area. There's just not a lot of options in terms of places to go and places to eat. We were surrounded by a couple of steak houses and gas stations and things like that, but we did see there's a Tim Hortons a half mile away. Good morning. It's Friday. It's our second day here in Toronto. And to start things off, we're going to go, hopefully go to a Tim Hortons for the first time. I didn't even know what a Tim Hortons was until about a week ago. So I'm ready for breakfast. So we walked a half mile to Tim Hortons and a half mile back and got coffee and an English muffin because they were out of biscuits. It was, it was okay. I'm sorry. I probably need to go some more. We, and we didn't get a donut. We should have, but. And then, we took the Up Express to Union Station. We got out and we were walking like through this, I don't know, hall, like a giant hallway um, to get out. And we saw a raccoon in the rafters up there. And they're one of my favorite animals. So I got all excited, a little baby urban raccoon. And then when we came out, we came out um, right in front of the CN Tower, so we got to look up at that, and it, we like had to look up so high we almost fell over, you know? And then we decided to just walk. We were going to walk towards the Kensington Market area and just see how far we could go without dying and see what we could see. And there was a lot to see. Um, I mean, it's Toronto, I guess there's always a lot to see. So we just walked and wandered and we started to get hungry again. So we stopped at this place. I think it was called Frank's because it was like a hot dog place. And I'd kind of been craving a corn dog for like a week. So I was trying to find me a corn dog. And they had corn dogs there and they were really good. And Zach got a really good burger. And my cat's staring at me. Sorry. And that was so pleasant and then we finally made it to Kensington no I think it was Queen Street maybe or somewhere near that but we saw a rock store that I had been 
looking at online called Geologic. So we went in this rock store and I was in heaven. So, I mean, it was a lot that they had a lot of low, like Canadian rocks and just like a really, really beautiful range of small and large specimens and certain specimens in small tumbled versions that I had never seen before. I got myself a few things. I know like if you're here because of Degrassi, you probably don't care about my rocks, but I got Amazonite. I got a Bumblebee Jasper. I got an orange Calcite. I got Serpentine. That looks real pretty on camera. And I got a rough green opal. I chatted with the store. I guess, I don't know if he was the owner. Chatted with the cashier for a long time. He was great. And then we came out and went kind of next door to Lululemon. My husband is a Lululemon ambassador and Lulu is a Canadian company. So we thought it would be great to see this Toronto location. And we walked around there and it was real crowded, but again, didn't bother me. It did not bother me. And then we found a CD store, like a used a new CD store. They're dying away. So I was really excited to go in there and see what they had. It was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And a CD that I've actually been wanting is the Offspring Americana. I've been revisiting that a whole lot lately. So it's nice to have a $5 copy in my hands now. Um, after that, I think that's when we made it to Kensington. I may be a little bit out of order, but it was really cool. It was really cool. Um, we went to a, like a couple of vintage shops and stuff and we wanted to continue, but at that point, we um, we had to leave because we were going to meet Katie. My internet friend, Katie, uh, the host of Degrassi Back to Class podcast, she and Linda, the other host, invited us to come over to Katie's house along with a couple other friends, Jason and Allison. And Katie's boyfriend was there too. Anyway, so... Oh yeah, they got held up. So what we did is we continued to walk. We continued to walk around and wonder. We had already left Kensington Market by that time because what we were gonna do was Uber over there, but we were trying to get to a place that was easy for the Uber driver to get to. So we had already wandered out of Kensington Market. Um, so we, we just walked through like a school area, some more um, residential areas. We also passed a church that um, had a sign in the front that said, you know, and so we are all are welcome here. And it had like the rainbow for Pride Month and everything. And that means a lot to me because here where I live, that's a huge, huge issue of whether gays should be welcomed into the church. And so that was really, really cool. I mean, I know probably not every church in Toronto is a, well, openly welcoming people regardless of identity or whatever, but seeing that one example made me really happy. We passed by a lot of different kinds of restaurants. We passed by a Tibetan food truck. We passed by Lebanese cuisine, like the, just the amount of different cultures all around us was so cool. So we still had to kill a little bit more time because Katie and friends were running late. So we went to uh, this pub. I think it was called the market or something. So we went to this pub and just like had fries, had a cider and hung out. And it's just so cool kind of going at a slow pace and everything. And we were so tired from all this walking. So tired. Poor Zach. I could see it in his eyes. But I just knew we had to keep going. We had fries and a drink here at the Madison pub. Now we're waiting for our Uber. Uber? our Uber to bring us to Katie's house. Eee! Meeting internet friends. So finally we Ubered to Katie's house. It was so awesome to see a Toronto home and like right there in downtown or somewhere about, I don't know what I'm saying, but 
I got to meet Katie, I got to meet Linda, I got to meet Jason, I got to meet Allison. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. look at her face. We're hanging oh, yeah. out All with the Degrassi right. Instagram <laughs> cool kids exactly. right All now. Exactly. We all just hung out in the backyard, listened to records, and had some more cider. And we had so much fun sitting there talking. We meant to get out and start walking around way sooner, but we all just had so much fun talking with each other. We got kind of held up. But finally, it was time to start our adventure. Oh yes, but first, um, Katie and Jason gave us some special little goodies, some Degrassi gear and some Canada gear. Um, I got you like a cheesy oh. kind of like magnet for your yeah. fridge. Yeah, she good. Oh, yeah. This is like the <laughs> center. I okay. love it. This is hilarious. Okay, so I have different. I have like some different keychains and like op they're opener keychains. But this one's great because it's an opener or it's a keychain, but it's also like a nail, nail, clipper. A nail clipper. And the big joke is that people clip their nails on the Toronto Transit. So if you want to clip your nails on Toronto Transit, but guess what? It also has a beer opener. Oh, there's a lot going on. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna like want to have this. Is there only one? Yeah. 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 Oh no, okay. she's got a bunch of them, don't you? Okay. Uh, the five I'll, ones, give, I'll give you the, the A opener. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and which one do you want? Yeah, He's not paying attention. Okay. Uh, you I get think to I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Tower one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. What do I get? Here are just like random little. Shut up. I'm going to Ben is awesome. Right here. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I tell you where to get them. Okay. <laughs> and then we started walking, and we went to Degrassi High. It was so surreal, and so cool. <laughs> it's so crazy. Look at it. Get out. <laughs> Degrassi High. Well, there's bikes parked here, so I think that there must be people inside, so people will be able to get them. Yes! <laughs> I can't believe we're here. Degrassi High still looks the same. It is a college. So we we tried the door and it was open. It was probably about eight o'clock at this time. And there's a security guard sitting up there and Katie was like, hey, we're Degrassi fans. Can we look around? And she was just like, so we got to go up the ramp. We got to walk the halls. We got to see the washrooms and the courtyard and the cafeteria and we tried to like figure out which end of the cafeteria is the end that Joey streaked from. And it was so much smaller, by the way, than we thought it would have been. Or that I thought it would have been. I have all these like bananas that are rotting in my kitchen. I could have brought those. <laughs> you could have put them You could have put them in your butter. Don't shove me in there. Mm -hmm. Get that locker, you bring your head. <laughs> David Blaine? Harry Houdini? <laughs> now this so looks big. Like this part of the school does look big. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that was awesome. 
reenacted some things and just had the cutest little time. I loved going in there. And then when we left, we kind of walked around out the back and tried to pinpoint some more spots where certain things happened and everything. After that, we stopped at a restaurant and now I don't remember what it was called, but we got like burgers or chicken nuggets or whatever. And I tried some poutine. <laughs> And it was really good, actually. I mean, I don't know why it has such a fancy name, because basically it's just fries with gravy and cheese on it. But it was good. Um, the word curd kind of grossed me out, so it has cheese curd. <laughs> but you know what? The curds taste fine. Then we rode a bus to a different location. Katie was our guide. Express Donuts where uh, Michelle worked at the donut shop and it does kind of look like the building does look kind of the same. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. see it for a second. Yeah. Like there's one point where she walks out and you can see like the corner there and it's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find it. We also just passed like, Towers where Lucy shoplifted <laughs> and Melanie got her bra. And we got <laughs> I'm vlogging, <laughs> and the I the optometrist where Wheels had his eye appointment. <laughs> and then she showed us uh, more locations from Degrassi. First, she showed us Rick's apartment. Okay, so this was the space where Rick's dad's apartment was, but it looks different now. The shoppers where um, uh, <gasps> poor Spike bought her pregnancy test. Oh my gosh! Where Joey buys condoms, where Joey works um, during school's out. So much happened at the shoppers. We're here! And where's the street she walked down with her head hanging with that pregnancy test in here? It was I was down here, I yeah, think. Yeah, like real open like. Yeah, yeah. Like no girl. Oh would yeah, ask. it was so like, oh. that's playing playing time. There you go. Playing yeah. time productions is right there. Oh my gosh. Just fill the cart with yeah, tons fill of them other up. stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the street she walked down. This is it. I can tell. <laughs> then was the abortion clinic where Erica had some services. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is it. That yeah. is incredible. I think about your baby. It looks so different. <laughs> Well, do you have to come up here and be We like should have got some silly yes. putty and like <laughs> crafted a fetus. No, I, I have a fetus. No, I don't. Oh, sorry. Why does it look so different? This is the abortion clinic. You better. Bring the big, bring the plastic fetus to Lone Star, please. <laughs> he ended up getting coke uh, spilled over his head. As he, he should have. Yep. Here it happened. Here it is. No the way. The only thing that looks the same as 13 busy <laughs> is the window. Everything else has changed. All right. <laughs> 13 busy. Cool. Um, if you turn across the street here, look across the street at the black kind of building there. Yeah. Um, that Spike's mom's hair <gasps> studio. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <We're all> like, <laughs> yeah, that's so, so cool! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this abandoned building! Yeah. Yeah. 
a trolley car. Because I purchase I'd be... it and open up your own hair studio Ooh. there. Ooh. So, this right here, uh, you can see like the tile. Yeah. It used to be brown. And if you look up, you see that there's a sign for, I can't even read it, Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank. Oh, and that's where Frank. That's where Spike tried to get a job. Oh, oh Don. Yeah. Don was his name. Don was his name. So yeah, he was behind the counter here, and he, you know, asked her about her hair. That was awful. So, yeah, but that's still up there. Nobody, nobody has taken that down, even though it doesn't exist anymore. And then Liz and was like, and you can like, tell that the tile is still the same too. I love it. I love it. So. Liz was like, we should throw a brick through his window. Yeah. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> History has been made in there. The Scotia Bank. Do you recognize it? It isn't a super major like part. It's more quickly shown in a very significant scene. Never noticed it. Oh yeah, no. It's, I told you it's very obscure, so. <laughs> Who's involved? <laughs> wheels. <laughs> and only wheels. <laughs> Is this right? He's walking around homeless or something? Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay! He runs across the street in the pouring oh! rain here! Does he run from here to here or yeah. the other way? He runs across the street here. <laughs> yeah. It's so magical. Poor wheels. <laughs> Then we went to the Degrassi street sign. It was just so weird, like, while all this was happening, like, you didn't really, you didn't really stop and think, like, this is happening. You know, it's kind of just like this whirlwind where you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let's take my picture, what's next? And then just looking back on it and contemplating it and stuff, it's just... I think it's a feeling that will never fade. Then we went to the twins' house. <laughs> um, what's his name? What? Aaron. Wayne? Oh, Aaron, that's right, Aaron. Yes. See, Aaron there you Parks. go, Degrassi trivia. <laughs> You're gonna beat me. That's my name, don't wear it. <laughs> <laughs> that's where his car was parked, and that's where, and then the window where she looks out the window, oh and my he gosh. comes to the door, that's the house. Oh my gosh, and I remember thinking of like how busy their street corner looked. Yeah. Yep, because it's Queen. Oh my gosh. The twins' house. And then we went to Michelle's house. Then we went to Wheels' house. Where like all these iconic things happened, you know? Like the front of Wheels' house is where his grandmother gets out of the police car to tell him that his parents were in an accident. You know? This is crazy stuff. And then we went to Lucy's house where she had her party. After that we went to one more bar and it was really cool because even though it was a Friday night it was really empty because everybody was still trying to recover from Thursday and the celebrations that went on after the Raptors game. So finally, it was probably like 11 or 10 or I don't remember, we were like, we need to get home. So we Ubered back home. We are back home after a long day of running around Toronto. We got to meet some of our friends and it was so great. And tomorrow starts Degrassi Palooza. Um, I don't think I'm going to be allowed to film any of it. So, if I, I'm going to film what I can, but if I can't film any of it, I have taken a notepad and I'm going to take notes and then I'm going to give you guys the tea afterwards. So, we'll see what happens. Um, it's starting tomorrow. It's going to be a lot. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, broomheads.